of all we will take a look at the stream plot a stream plot generally looks like this this is a 2d plot and let's say you have a system in which water is flowing from one point to another and you want to know the velocity profile of that system that how's the velocity of water changing inside that system so for this purpose we use the concept of stream plot so let's get to the coding open your python ide and press ctrl plus n for the new file first of all i have to import those modules which i am going to need one is numpy and other is matplotlib now i have to create an x axis i should say np dot line space of let's say from minus 3 to 3 from minus 3 to 3 in a steps of 100 now in order to plot that stream plot i'm going to need two dimensional axes so i cannot plot that stream plot on this a is this a is only that x axis so this is a one dimensional axis so it's not a two dimensional axis and a two dimensional axis is called a mesh grid in python so to create that mesh grid i'm going to say let's say x y equal np dot mesh grid of a comma a you can see here i have created a 2d i should write here it is a 2d axis of x y and x is going to be from minus 3 to 3 in equal steps of 100 and also y is going to be in equal steps of 100 from minus 3 to 3 now let's say in this field here i have some x components in and also i have some y components here so let's say the x component is i should say u equal just anything let's say i should say one plus x square plus y and let's say i have the y components is v equal two plus x plus y square and let's say i want to keep the profile of the magnitude so i should know that how's the magnitude changing so i should just define a variable mag equal np dot square root of let's say u square plus v square is you know that a magnitude is basically the square root of x component squared plus y component squared so now let me tell you that here i will use the concept of subplots so if you don't know the concept of subplots in python kindly go back and watch my previous video where i have explained the concept of subplots i should say fig i should say fig x is equal plt dot subplots of let's say i want it of two rows and two columns with a figure size of let's say 10 by 10 okay now i should say a x equal x is of let's say 0 and 0 so i'm just giving this the location of 0 0 let's say here i want to plot so i should say a x dot stream plot that stream plot of x y u and v if i do this you can see here i am passing the mesh grid i have created here and then i am passing the x component and then i am passing the y component here and you can see here i am saying a x dot stream plot if this is only a single plot then i should not use the concept of subplots 
the concept of surplus is, is only used when we have multiple plots not a single plot so then i should say a x equal x is of let's say 0 and 1 so i want this to be at the second location and here i should pass a x dot stream plot of same x y u and v but the only change that i am going to make here is i should say color equal let's say mag which i have defined here color equal mag what will this do is that this will give me the magnitude of that vector field based on the color so i should say that uh, yellow color is the fastest while purple is the slowest i should say plt dot show let me run this press f5 just give it any name and run this okay fix size is not defined what it's saying fix size equal or uh, you say fix size equal 10 by 10 if i run this now you can see here this plot is where you cannot tell like at which point the fluid will be uh, slowest and at which point it will be fastest and here you can easily say that at the corners the green color and the yellow color they are the fastest so at these points the fluid will be fastest and at the center where there is purple color the velocity of the fluid will be slowest